a person that leave from my band and go somewhere else, but they won't be able to duplicate what's being done here. Right. You see what I'm saying? We can bring somebody in our camp and duplicate whatever talent that they got into something, you see what I'm saying, like that. But it's a band as a whole that actually puts it together. Because you got to remember when, like I said, when Loma went down, I just took the whole band as a whole and said, everybody got to put I put a challenge to the band. Everybody got to put their insight on what we need done. New music, original music, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. It's just not one person anymore, you know what I'm saying? But it'd be, I make it so I'm the final voice because it'd be too many artists if it's not. Right. But I play Sweets Close mm -hmm. to hear what he's saying to put it together. Okay. So, Ben... You were nominate, nominated along with Coop Walker Reds and Tom, the manager of Chuck Brown. And you won in the 2010 Go-Go Awards. So how do you feel about that? How has the title changed anything for you? Nothing. Just I respect the people that were nominated before me and after me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I respect them, Coops, and all of them like that. But, um... It doesn't really change anything for me. It's just knowing that I got to work harder because that type of shit will make you lazy and think that you done done something. You really ain't done nothing yet. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And it's cool that they was, they acknowledge me for, you know, putting in the work that I put in or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just like any other manager that should and would. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's a lot more hard work to keep staying on top than just to say, okay, you got an award. Okay, cool. I'm just chill, you know, it's a lot, you got to come back in and work even harder the next time, you know what I'm saying, you know, but it's good to get something at the end of the year to let you know that somebody is paying attention. Do you have any musical talents? Nope. You bust out into a rap sometimes? Nah. <laughs> so I what just, do you... I just know, I know what I like, I know what I need to hear, I know how to structure things that I need to hear, and I know what I think people would want to hear and the direction that people want to go in. So I would, that's why I bring people who are musically inclined uh -huh. and whatever they got, I can help structure what they got and formulate it to what needs to be heard out there. That's what I think I got. Okay. What I got. You don't bust out into a rap sometimes? Nah, none of that. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, wait a minute, but do you have a favorite band outside of TCB? Me? Uh-huh. You can't say TCB. You got to say somebody else. I'm going to tell you no. <laughs> Is that you being PC politically correct? No, I, I, I don't have a favorite band. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I fuck with um, Backyard of Gangers all day long. I, res I fuck with back Gangers personally on a personal level and... Just, you know, the band from us coming up from under them. But um, I respect all the young bands. Okay. I respect all the young bands from the reactions to the XIBs, to the TOBs, um, the New Impressions, the Renegades, all the, all the young bands. So what about the Bounce Beat Band of the Year? Now, some people think that TCB should not even be in that category. Like, you shouldn't I, be considered. I, I, yeah, I think... Cause you know they changed it now to um, it's called the Polo Bounce Beat Award or something like that now. Yeah, yeah that's what it said on the trophy. So okay, I, I was just saying that after they did that, I was like, dang. So that really does make it so we shouldn't be in that category anymore because it's kind of like cheating and you setting your same award that a band that was with the the, the formula that started it off. Right. So. I think that Gogo Awards, I mean, next year should, because that one time it was a Band of the Year Award. Mm, okay. And I think that after you had all them breakdown categories, it should just be one Band of the Year. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's like just one official Band of the Year, because she was saying, you know, since it's, you know, now it's called the Polo Bounce Beat Award, it's like people say that we need to be in the moment, because it's like, you know what I'm saying, Bounce Beat, you know, like, like to me, I think it should be a category. I, 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 
Right. Well, you shouldn't be. If you've contributed so much to so, it when so you I basically mean, like created it. I feel like should not be in there no more, but it should be a band of the year award. Just, just, just one, for, one, one, whole, one category. But yeah. It's cool that you break down the different bands, but at the end of the year, you still should have one man that you know that has like really stamped. You know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. stamped a lot of shit. Out of the category, you still got the favorite out of everybody. Mm-hmm. Right. right. I, 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 I'm concerned about uh, like the actual well you will never know who the actual voters are who gets the last call but but I, you know I, what you they like could make it so that, they could make it so that you can see the count yeah see, see the count or something like that because uh, you could you, they could have it so that you could see the count on who's actually getting voted who, right. but the votes is coming coming in at. Right, right, no right. if that's the case if that's what everybody would want to do so that way nobody can have no argument about who's getting what Cause I ain't cross judging nothing, but I know we play five nights a week. I'm talking about from Maryland to Virginia to DC. You know what I'm saying? Just like Ben was telling me, like I, like when I when I first was coming back home, I was like, uh, like seeing the kid, the, the kid, just seeing the kids how they partying. Like I'm thinking that we may be losing our touch to a certain extent. I thought we should have changed our formula, but not necessarily changed our formula. We just had to dig in the trenches and get back in front of the kids' eyes. But nevertheless. We playing for the kids. We playing. For, I'm talking about. I seen older people like yourself that used to come see us. I was around. Wait, what? Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 the, damn sweet. I mean, I mean well, well, you know, it came in the era yeah. of uh, uh, the, the levels I mean, yeah. and uh, and the and the uh, met and stuff yeah, like that. And all that. You know what I'm saying? It was coming to see us then, and now. Those ladies go to the couches and they don't even do the go go scene only on special occasions. Right. So now we done groomed a whole nother class of people that's coming up that other bands like like that cross judging, IEs and backyards and them bands, they never seen those people before. Right, and they won't. They won't see them because they cater to our music. So saying that to say it's a longevity in our music from from different from different ages. And even down when they get down to like Ben was saying with the um with the kids, we do the kids show with the Pearl on Saturdays. And uh, now I'm seeing them, them younger kids, and I guess because I'm getting a little older, and they, they seem more younger to me, but they're not more younger. It's just we we play for those people at that age. They're just older now. So now, right. you know, it's generations move. So we play for different generations, you know. Okay. So. I understand that. What should we expect from TCB in 2011? New shit. More hits. So is this the ass clap year or the gangster song year? Which year is this? This the gangster song year. Because ass clap <laughs> come out every two years because we got... Oh, right. Two, this oh, two, is, two, which is this? Oh, it, Dirt ass. This, this the gangster year. This the gangster year? Right year? Yeah. Oh, are we ready? It's November. It's almost December. You ready? We gonna ready. be ready. <laughs> it's already done. <laughs> it's already done. Okay. So, with TCB with the... Day shows and the community service shows and the night shows till six in the morning. Are y'all tired? Well, like our boss said, we don't sleep. This is what we do. So I then came into the uh, the realization that um, this is all it is to do. This is what we're here for. So, you know, same with solo projects too, but as far as music as a whole in general, uh, this is what we're here for. So it ain't no sleep, no days off. No days off. And then tell them this. They can look forward to this too. Um, TCB Our Camp, what we doing is we got individual artists in the band too mm-hmm. that um, that they gonna be looking forward to in 2011 doing solo projects too. Sweets, we got um, Bobby Playboys, Grand Finale. Um, Grand Finale. We got the of girl course. singer Tiffany. You know what I'm saying? Mark Block will be putting beats together for Tony T. T- you know what I'm saying? Tony T. You know what I'm saying? We got um. Like, and then we also explore outside of that, too. Anybody that does individual things, too, we bring them all in the camp. We bring everybody into to the camp, you know, according to what we like or whatever and stuff like that. And pushing them forward, too, individually and still pushing forward the band as the group. So we're going to be, like, multitasking this whole 2011. Okay. So that's what they can really expect new from, from the this, this side. More, more videos. More videos. New movie. A new movie? Yeah, yeah. Is this number three? Not three. Not I three. What's, what's this new movie? This, this one. <laughs> y'all have to wait to see, 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 see the whole concept of this one. Okay. Okay. 
How has the fans shaped TCB? The fans? The fans. How have they shaped us? Yes, because like I you mean, just mentioned. They, the fans, what they do is they keep us, keep keep the band hungry. Mm-hmm. They keep us hungry. Well, you play five nights a week, right, so y'all ain't hungry. too hungry. Keep us hungry and energized, and yeah, keep us hungry, energized, and keep keep us keep us trying to stay on point on on, on on being on top of new shit. Okay, you know what I'm saying, and to feed them. Well, maybe they hungry and we we feed them. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying. Okay, okay. We street street feeds. Street feeds. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so. How is Polo doing? I mean, he he he's still maintaining, he's still in the cone, but he's 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 getting better. I mean, he's strong. They get they say he's stronger. You know what I'm saying? He's just maintaining right now, though. So it's a waiting game. The doctor says it's a waiting game until uh-huh. so, he pop out. But um, he's not. He's breathing on his own. You know what I'm saying? He's not on life support or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So he's been upgraded from that, and he's just maintaining right now. And we see him, like, I see him, like, twice a week. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Keep him cleaned up and just waiting them to pop up. What has been the biggest challenge for the band since Polo got sick? I mean, the biggest challenge was first trying to let the promoters know that the band is still the band. So, you know what I'm saying? Because when Low first went down, not only was the crowd, like, really not, um, Thinking that the band was still still gonna be the band, the um, I don't want the crowd feeling like that. The promoters also, I didn't see it in their in their mind and in the way that they was producing the flies and the, and the effort and energy was putting in to the show that they was like thinking like maybe they should be getting ready to go to the next thing. Right. So you know. But like you know, me and you no, know, we always been doing our own lines and promotion. Anyway, you know, I started doing this shit for the band. Anyway, like that, so it was nothing to go right back into the press shop and start putting our own shit and put my own little promotion team back together and start putting the name back out. And I called a meeting with all the promoters, which they all still good guys, though. You know what I'm saying? Like that, it just they needed that extra push because I, you know, they was cool with low too. You know what I'm saying? So they all was dampered down a little bit and I had to tell him, look, it's the band, it's the band, if you with it, you with it like that or whatever, because regardless, I'm going to push forward anyway, you know what I'm saying, and, and like that, whoever's there with us, they're going to still be there with us, and so then I got them back on point, you know what I'm saying, and, and then, um, so from there, then we did that part of it, and then just getting the band's morale back up like that, and then at the same time, it was fucked up for us. Not only when Lohan went down, then we started losing our spots in the city because of little incidents like stabbings or somebody getting hit with a bottle. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So we got we got shade out of D.C. Okay. Through that whole time. So that was another big downfall for us. And then I had to go into Maryland and St. Charles, you know what I'm saying, and start playing there and stuff like that and try to build all that back up. So when Lohan went down, then we lost all our spots in the city. So we couldn't play for the kids in D.C., and stuff like that. I had to restructure all that up and stuff and get it everything back flowing. And you know, like we still ain't like at a hundred percent driving though, but we ain't at a hundred percent. We'll be at a hundred percent when we get back in the city though. And that's what we just waiting on. Once we get back in there, we will be back in um good position like that and then low come back and we'll be make everything real easy for him like that and then that's it. In your opinion, what can the fans and the GoGo community do to continue to support Polo? I mean, well, they can pray for them, keep praying for them, keeping their prayers. And then we always have a, um, a gift box at all the shows, a, a donation box that I give to the parents like once a month besides me. Uh-huh. I always um, give the parents money every week anyway, you know, Polo uh-huh. money any, every week anyway. And... Um, then we give them a, a extra money for the gift box because they be needing that for um, like 25 nursing care right. and stuff like that. You know, and even at the, um, at the um, rehabilitation clinic that he's at, like that or whatever. And all they got to do is keep them in their prayer mostly, though. And that's it. Woo. Okay. When people talk about Polo, they talk about his community service efforts. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Go Go for Haiti was one that I heard not too long ago. I know for me, he's done my neighborhood 21st Carpenters for the kids. What is CCB doing to keep that service in the community? I know you're saying you can't really do too much in D.C., but what is CCB doing? I mean, we get ready to do a Christmas for, uh, tours for Todd Drive for the kids, and we're trying to get that set up in the city. You know what I'm saying? We had done, my thing was we had done, we helped the, um, the mayor's campaign, both mayor's uh-huh, uh-huh. campaigns. Oh, you, you was know, on both sides? Both sides. <laughs> we did both sides, you know, helping that campaign. But, I mean, that I guess that's more political. But, I mean, see, with us being banned like we are, my thing is, what? I tell, you know, the police or whatever, everybody, whoever needs us, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying, to help for any type of fundraisers for, like, uh, um, football leagues or anything like that. I mean, I'm available at all times, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? So, as I'm always saying yes to anything that has to do with um, helping out a neighborhood or community, anything like that. HIV drives, anything like that. So it's not that's that, I don't put no money value on anything like that. If you need us, I'm gonna do that. You know what right, I'm right. And talking for the youth for about nonviolence and all that stuff like that. We're ready to do all that. You know what I'm saying? So they just gotta put us there instead of pushing us away. That's right. What they're doing right now though. Why do you think that is? Why are they pushing I mean, you all the way? PG and DC, they try to, every time there's an incident happening, they, instead of trying to solve the crime or figure out who is the culprit that the problem is happening with, they try to blame it on the bandits. It's easy for them to say, oh, it's TCB, it's a TCB show. Like, incidents happen at other people's shows, they don't even put their name on the news. Right. But if an incident happens at our show, the first thing they're talking about oh, was TCB was there. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But there's been other bands that's had incidents, shootings, and everything. Not putting them out on blast. I'm not even gonna mention their name, but I'm saying, and they don't put their name on the news or anything like that. But for us, if an incident happens, the first thing they say it was TCB. You know what I'm saying? Like that. It's just a big hype on the band name. But I guess, like they say, it happens to everybody. It happens in the backyard, Northeast Groovers, Essence. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a continuous cycle, and it's happening with us right now. And it'll be somebody else later when the hype dies off on us. So, you know, hopefully it won't though die off on us though. But so has that gotten better since Polo has been sick? With the sympathy and... Nah, they don't care. Okay. They still the same thing. Okay. All right, my last question, unless you have something else, of course, is do you think the TCB gets the respect that they're due, that you all are due? From the go-go community or the community as a whole? I mean, I'm going to say that they gave us the respect now because Lowe went down. Like every once, once when Lowe went got sick, everybody paid homage and respect to where the bounce beat really came from before people was challenging us about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And but when Lowe went down, I mean he got sick, you know what I'm saying? That's when everybody started saying, oh, okay, we respect it now, this is where it came from, Lowe started this. You know what I'm saying? Low and TCB started this, you know what I'm saying? Like that. So it's like, it's almost like, yeah, you respect it, but you respect because a lot of bands that came personally at Low, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, came at him, not came at him physically, but right, right. you know what I'm saying? Through, uh, through, their, through their music, you know what I'm saying? And the band, you know what I'm saying? And it's like now you respect him, but because he's sick, so now you want to pay respect. So it's like you respect it now because it's a consolation type of respect or sympathy type of respect. Even though it's just due, though. Right. It's a just due respect. You know what I'm saying? You not, Now you realize that all the slick talking that you might have been doing or thinking, you know what I'm saying? You sit back and when you hear about since he's sick, you go back and you listen to all the shit. The ad libs, the um, the sayings, the, the cliche sayings and stuff that Lowe was doing on that mic. You go back and listen to it. Now you want to put it in your songs. Mm. The bands want to snatch it and put it in their songs on their tracks. You know what I'm saying? People be calling for it on their rap tracks, calling to put it in their in their band songs and stuff like that. You copy it. Mm-hmm. You copy a lot of his shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, now you respecting it, but my thing is it should have been respected. Why? He, he done he done this for over 
10 or 12 years, you know what I'm saying? Then he got sick. Now, now you want to respect it, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I guess it's cool. It got to be some point in time when you got to eventually, because you still say you still don't respect it. So, at least, at least now you're just saying that you do. So, I guess that's cool, you know what I'm saying? But it's just late as a motherfucker. I think, I think, I think the, the streets respect us, like, Oh no, our crowd, our fans, all the respect is we talking I'm talking about we talking about the go go community. The go go community. The go go community as itself. But you know you know what I'm saying, but it is it is what it is, you know what I'm saying, but you know I guess this how it is when when you're the best. You ain't never gonna feel like this until you're the best. And we the best, so that's why we feel those uh the heat like that from the go go community. I know we touched on the younger bands, but a lot of the older, more established bands are doing the bounce beat now. Yeah, they, 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 yeah. No comment. Okay. (laughs) 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 Can can I ask you a question? Yes. Yes, Uh, dear. You can ask me anything. uh, I was wondering, Menzo, you you work with T Mark? Yes. Take me out to the go go. Right. Do you feel as though there's a division in go go where is that they trying to divide a bounce beat from Congo style? No. I don't. Okay, now this question. I had that conversation today, as a matter of fact. Um I think people want to embrace it. They don't want it to be separate from go go. It's just another part of go go, it's another part of the culture. They don't want it to be separate. They want to embrace it. I don't know if it has anything to do with no being sick or... or No, the go-go community. They want... Like I just said, the older bands are even playing it. I don't know... Let me tell you why they embrace it now, because it got to a point where it's like... For some of them feeling feeling like that, you know, if you can't beat them, you might as well join them. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, damn... It's obviously a, a formula that's working. We might be able to adapt to that too. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's true. You know, but at one time it was like, that's true. Yeah, this go go. This ain't even go-go. trash can, man. I remember that. I remember that. But I mean, that- you gotta remember. I'm gonna tell you this. Like when, when me and TCB and Sweets and the band Polo and I got together. You know what I'm saying? The band wasn't even playing the combos like that. We had transitioned mm-hmm. from that and we was doing all to my, we was opening up a song with the combos and opening a song, rap joint with the combos. Then after that, we was all to my, straight mm-hmm. through. Mm-hmm. So everybody was talking bad about that. Then one time, oh man, y'all don't even, y'all need really go, you only play to my, Then after that, everybody started, the other bands that was coming up under us started going to my, cause you know, that was the crowd that we was commanding. And then we went to the bounce beat you know what I'm saying? Straight to Miles into the bounce beat. Yeah, and that slower version of the bounce beat. Right, slower version. You know, started playing with it, swinging it. You know what I'm saying? Slow and slow bouncing, swinging it, and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you know, and everybody started and coming they, to that side. And then they you know started putting different labels on it, calling it a swag bounce, a slow bounce, or a crank bounce. Mm-hmm. Really, really, it's, it's just the bounce swag. Beat. It's just the yeah. bounce beat. Yeah. It's the bounce beat. Well, you got to think about it. The bounce beat is a part of go-go, and you don't just say, this is a go-go band. You give it a bounce beat name, so why can't people make names off of the bounce beat? Because it's just like, uh, it's only one, mm, like Coca-Cola. You know, it's a brand, you know what I mean? It's a brand. It never changes. It never changes. Coca-Cola is Coca-Cola. But what do you think when... But let me tell you this. Say you take a take bounce beat, right? Mm-hmm. And then you say, okay... This is a swag beat or a crank beat, but yeah, instead you take a ass clap song of ours and you twerk it a little bit and change it a little bit, put a little word here, there, whatever, and shit, and you play it. Is it really a crank beat or a swag beat, or is it really just a bounce beat? Right. You see what I'm saying? If you take in what's already been laid out mm-hmm. and you just step into it and you change it a little bit, is it really something else? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's really saying, something else. But what do you say when you 
when you saying to a child, okay, play some go-go, play a pocket, and they break out in the tones, they break out in the bounce beat. That's not going back to the roots. That's not the Congos. That's not what go-go was built on. But let me say this. Music always changes. Mm -hmm. So every, what, X, 10 years, music changes. It it's a like swing. It. It's, it just changes. You got to remember, it's just like rap. Was like beatbox, two a DJ and two MCs. Right, and then it went to gangster rap, mm -hmm. and then it went to Conscious what? Rap. Yeah, and then <laughs> now it goes to the, um, then it went to the Atlanta, South, which skate, the yeah. style rap. Then you got the chop then it went, room. Chop yeah, chop. And then now you got, now you got the um, real rap niggas hate chop this group. The the the, the, the um the soldier boys and them swag. You know, uh, you got the um brisk ball and them, them the, all this all straight hip -hop. hooks, all hip hop. Yeah. Straight hooks and dumb shit in the, in the middle. <laughs> hard hook. A slick little beat, hard ass hooks and dumb shit in the middle. You know what I'm saying? So, to go back to the roots, I mean, you would listen to the roots, but to get all the way to, the, to what it is now. You know what I'm saying? Everything changes, though, so it's not, it's not hey, look, same going like you know, angle. I remember uh, years ago, like back in like 99, like 98, we tried. Congos. I remember that mirror. We tried Congos mixing with, yeah, with Congo gold. grew to miles and back to Congo. But, it, 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 but it, it, once the crowd, we, we started seeing that the crowd was loving the Tambali so much. Is when you go back, it's like they you like break them all the way down. See, that was cool back then when people was chilling, two stepping and shit like that. But now we, it, everything had changed. Sweat, you know what I'm saying? Take your clothes but off, swing your shirts. Your music got to control the crowd, so. You know what I'm saying? Your band, you got to dictate the tempo of the crowd. You know what I'm saying? So the band dictates the tempo of the crowd. Your music dictates the tempo of the crowd. You tell your crowd what you want them to do. So you structure your crowd to be who you want them to be, how you want them to act. I mean, how you want them to dance and party with you. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the way it is. And like I said, after this band, it's going to be another band. It's going to be another style of music after it may, Soulja Boy and all them. It may be another it may be. Yeah. Who you like, sweet? Who I like? Who you like? My best, my favorite one? Yes. Besides TCB. You better not say TCB. Or Polo and the boys. Who you like? Back y'all. Back y'all. Oh, I knew that was coming. Who else do you like? Which one of the up and coming bands do you like? Up and coming bands I like. <laughs> <laughs> So how can fans get in touch with TCB? Where is TCB? Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. Where is TCB? Bounce Beat King TV, YouTube that. Bounce, Bounce Beat King. King B-O-U-N-C-E-B-E-A-T-K-I-N-G-Z. -E Z. Z. That's, that, that's a Twitter one. That's TV. All one word. Bounce Beat King. Is it Bounce Beat King TV? Bounce Beat King. No, that's no, Bounce Beat King TV. Oh, yeah. Bounce Beat King. Yeah, Bounce Beat King. B O U N C E B E A T K I N G TV. YouTube oh. that. And they can see all our shit. Okay. We keep uploading shit like every week. Got Twitter. The Twitter. The Twitter is Bounce Beat Kings with a Z. Bounce Beat Kings with a Z. That's the Twitter. And Twitter. And, then, um, and Bounce Beat Kings. And then okay. Facebook. And TCB yeah. Bounce Beat King. Yeah, TCB Bounce Beat Kings on Facebook. With a Z. Hey, you got anything else you want to get off your chest? And they can email me at ben at this is tcb .com for to contact me. They can't get my number though. <laughs> <laughs> ben, ben at this is tcb .com. Right. Sweet.